welcome to this video. This one is all about how we can deduce a reactivity series from metals and their reactions with acids. So let's get the experiment started. The first thing I've done here is to set up four boiling tubes with HCl inside them. What we're going to do then is add our four metals to each of those boiling tubes. Magnesium, uh, zinc, then iron and copper. So four in total. For the magnesium, what you can see is that this one is definitely reacting the quickest of all of these reactions. Hopefully you can see it bubbling quite uh, vigorously and really going for it. So this one is definitely the most reactive at the top of our list. Now zinc, although I know it should be next on the list, looks right now like it's not really reacting. But this is what the zinc looks like after about three or four minutes of reacting you can see that the zinc is pretty much covered in bubbles. It just takes a little while to work through that oxide layer. The iron is the next most reactive, and what you'll see is the iron has these small bubbles on the surface of the iron nail. Can you see them? They're really, really tiny, so just keep an eye out for those. If we look at the copper, it seems to not be reacting at all. There are no bubbles at all on the surface of the copper. We can summarize this into an order of reactivity. So magnesium was the most reactive, then zinc, then iron, then copper. If we write down our observations with HCl, it's really important that we use descriptive words so that we can tell which one bubbled more. If I just wrote bubbles in all of them, that doesn't really tell me any information about which ones are going fast or slow. Copper has no bubbles. It doesn't react with the hydrochloric acid at all. And in fact, it reacts with no acids. That's because it's below hydrogen on your reactivity series. So anything below hydrogen on your reactivity series will not react with acids. Okay, that's all for today's video. That's all about metals and how they react with acids.